Well, it's been a while. Um, just to catch family and friends up. Uh, this month, I ended up, I just got kept getting worse and worse. And finally, uh, I got to where I couldn't breathe. And I went over for my key true to infusion, you know, where they plugged me up. It's like a mild form of chemo. It's an immunosuppressed, immunotherapy drug. It's supposed to kill all the cells that, of cancer that might have got away. And they don't know, but they think possibly it turned around. Anyway, that garden I planted, it, it looked so good. I've not even been able to enter it uh, except once briefly and now I can't go I'm attached to this thing uh, I've got a, a back one that I can uh, go if I need to go somewhere but it hardly won't keep up with the oxygen that my body's needing so I'm stuck with this one spent Six days in the hospital, I got out Thursday. Uh, doctor said, you know, they sent me home. I mean, they they done surgery. They got a lot of mucus plugs and yeast out of my lungs. Uh, but they left a lot in there, too. They couldn't get it out. And so I'm taking... 40 milligrams of prednisone a day. Some kind of antibiotic. It's unreal. Uh, makes your fart stink. But uh, I have to keep kind of monitor uh, what, I'm, what my blood ox is. Pulse ox. Got a pulse socks thing. Actually, got two of them. Bought that one new, which has a power goal. This is attached. But uh, heart rate runs way over 100 a lot of times. Uh, it, and all the time, I don't exert myself. If I walk, that's an exertion. So, anyway. Didn't exactly get to make the garden. I mean, it happened. I just couldn't do nothing with it. And Denise, she's had her hands full working plus babysitting me. And uh, so we ain't got much out of it. And unfortunately, the two people that I wanted to give a lot of it to, we can't. Because we can't. I can't collect it. And uh, she... She really, I mean, she's pushing the, she's working like I worked all my life. And that may be why I'm in it's good shape I'm in. But uh, anyway, we're going to sell the cows. All but six, I'm going to keep six of them. Five cows and a bull. I don't want to keep no fewer than that because of coyotes. And we'll sell the donkeys, all but two. I'll keep two back here with the sheep. I may take one or two up with the cows. And uh, there's about 15 of them here. So we're going to do away with them. Uh, we'll keep the sheep. I don't know if I'll get to plant thing next year or not. I see, I'm 60 years old. I've always had cow. I grew up on a farm. I may not have had them, but you know, my grandparents or great grandparents or Ain't knuckles, they always had them. But I always had a garden, I even had my own garden when I was a teenager. So, there's that. I think it, in time, maybe it, it'll heal. They told me it, I'd be down for six months to a year. So apparently it's, there's two different pneumonias. 
and none, neither one of them are bacteria or viruses or more of a chemical type thing. I forget what they call it. But uh, there's that and there's yeast. And uh, of course, regular damage to radiation done and COPD. So it's just kind of a mess right now. So I, you know, just take it day by day. Things will be all right. Mark sold his cows, my cousin. You know, he went septic uh, last year. And then about four or five months ago, he got up and him and his girl lived together for 37 years. And he found her dead. And it wasn't long after that till he went crippled completely. Again, this time they found 100% uh, occlusion and his... Uh, some kind of artery down around his groin area. I know they cut him from the sternum to the groin, and then they cut each side of the groin, and then they cut each hip. So he's on the men, but mentally, I think it's his. It's got him. He's losing part of his farm, having to sell his cows. Uh, he's just him up there, and out of about first what. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, count me eleven that lived here, grew up here, that were kin. Me and him's it. Rest of them are dead. So, but on the bright side, I'm going to attempt to learn. Uh, airbrushing. I have an ulterior motive for that. I got a couple of trucks, probably a couple of cars. I like to put ghost flames on. Uh, I can put that little Volkswagen back together. I've got a new top for it. And the uh, biggest thing was it just needed a convertible top. But the paint sucked, so I disassembled it. And I've got new fender webbing and everything. Runs like a top. Now I'll work on one of my Camaros or maybe one of the trucks. But, anywho, we're still kicking, we're still breathing, we're still fighting. I'll show you some pictures of my garden when it first started. The computer that I was putting it on died. It crashed. Then first this one crashed. So I replaced it with the one downstairs. It crashed. So I took it loose. And that's the one that had all the pictures art to last on it. And when it crashed, I've got this one back running. And so I put it, hooked it back up. So I've got this other one sitting here. And I've got a uh, repair disc for it. So I'm going to uh, get it back running. And then I've got another one that I used to use all the time. And it's got a bunch of pictures. I'm going to do my best to get it back running. Power Surge took it out. And that's probably what took these two out. Thank you, Appalachian Electric. But anyway... It ain't over the fat lady sings. So, like I told Mark, when he give up, I kind of chewed his butt out. You know, at the time, I wouldn't, I, I couldn't, it was all I could do just to go up there and sit for 10 minutes. I couldn't breathe. I guess you can't breathe. I haven't been up there since. But you know, whether you want to believe it or whether you want to, I'm not going to harp on you, I'm going to preach to you. But whether you want to believe it or not, God exists. 
He makes the decisions. It's up to him whether good things happen or bad things happen, I guess. Maybe it's up to what we, maybe basis it on what we do. But anyway, he's four cancers and two heart attacks, two Lyme disease. I've been bit by round and clue spiders either five or seven times. I've lost count. And I've never walked it alone. I've never been alone. When I laid down in that bed, when I had throat cancer, my wife had to work because we didn't have money. I still wasn't alone. But nobody in the house, but I wasn't alone. That's what I was telling Mark. You don't have to be alone. It's as simple as a prayer. He made that before Wi-Fi. So anyway, I'll show you some pictures of the garden. There ain't many of them, but it's on his computer. That's when we first started. That was a Green Beans RTN right before we harvested. That was Denise sowing the seeds. And, uh, that was some of the bell peppers and other peppers when they first were little. And now she said they're huge. Those are bell peppers there too. And over and amongst all that, those big huge bamboo things, bamboo, that's uh, the tomatoes. I never even got to start him this year. And then of course there's my other one, the rule king. He's just sitting there. And my little Massey with the rotavator on the back. That's about all the beans that we got out of it right there. I mean, there ain't no more than that. And that is what the diagnosis was. So, uh, minus the lung cancer. Lung cancer was just, I guess, showing I had a history of it. But uh, that, that was what I ended up with. I've never heard of none of that. I just thought I had walking pneumonia. I did run a line of VTAC and my sinus rhythm went down into the 30s. Uh, that's a shirt that my, we and my wife seen online and she said, you have to have that. So I got it.